start. Hello, this is Haku to Bean, and today we are going to be reading SCP-6227. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. I have number SCP-6227. Object class decommissioned. Special containment procedures. Foundation web crawlers are to locate and take down websites, programs, or applications promoting or advertising instant pizza delivery or instant pizza. Description: SCP-6227 is a pizza delivery and order service capable of manifesting pizza at the doorstep of the subject who has ordered. These pizzas have no inherent anomalous effects or traits and are edible. SCP-6227 is capable of delivering to any location within Earth's atmosphere, with the exception of Antarctica. Dang. Why do they hate the uh, only a uh, fully gay continent? SCP-6227 takes the form of an application or website and is being and has been promoted through television, social media, and print. After first racing the location of the company, a factory was located in, in Milan, Italy that produces pizza delivered by SCP-6227. Sorry. Upon being produced, the pizzas will immediately dissipate. The staff in said warehouse are seemingly unaware of their employer or the purpose of the pizzas they have produced. After discovery, production of the pizzas was halted and SCP-6227 no longer functioned. Addendum 6227i. Noble incidents. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm not really sure, but this has a content warning. It doesn't seem as bad as, like, the Yule Man. Anyway, following is a log of incidents that have occurred in the affirmation facility and factory. These are collected after and used with staff before containment. Date, January 1st, 2015. Marco Raymond injures his leg after falling down a flight of stairs. May 4th, 2016. A physical altercation between Gary Sanchez and Paul Henry occurs. June 24th, 2016. A theft occurs with multiple gallons of cooking oil missing. November 2nd, 2016. A staff member, Romeo Carter, is arrested for theft. January 23rd, 2017. A staff member, Joseph of Caesar suffers a heart attack during work. Survives. April 12th, 2017. Rizek's job is terminated after causing machines to malfunction. February 28th, 2018. Guiana Park falls inside of a vat of tomato sauce and is pronounced dead. Now then, 6227, 2. Customer Reviews. The following is a log of customer reviews created before our decommissioning. I will note the date and the names of these reviewers. And the rating that they gave if the a service. Julia Nash. January 15, 2015. So I heard about this app from my friends a few days ago and was ready to be amazed. Sure, the pizza arrived on time, but it tasted bland and tasteless. Cross with weird magician stuff going on here, but make better pizzas. Area Otoria. July 20th, 2015. This app is, uh, oh yeah, two stars. This app is, uh, strange. First, I have a lot of questions. How the hell do you strip in two minutes? Second, the pizza sucked. The sauce tasted old and rotten and the cheese looked like slime. You guys should be closed down. One star. AJ Gaming TV, February 13th, 2016. That's probably the most realistic username in this list so far. This app is so cool. I liked it. My dad ordered a pizza and came in one second. 
Vomited after, but I liked it. Four stars. Very gamer taste. Karen Polly. July 28th, 2016. I will sue you. The name fits. You had at the balls to create a pizza that gave food poison to my entire family. I will shut you down. Whoever made this pizza, you can do go unalive in heck. I have already called the police and they will make you bankrupt. Never order from here or you could die. January 12th, 2018. Oh, yeah, that's a one star review, obviously. Harry Smell. I really had high hopes for this. When I ordered it, I was surprised to not see the delivery man or anything like that. It just sat there on my I welcome mat. It smelled odd when I opened the case, but thought nothing of it. Because when I looked at the pizza, I saw the horrors everyone was talking about. It looked like spoiled milk on top of blood and a burnt crust. I was disgusted, and even so, I still took that first bite. I regret it. Never buy this. A waste of time, money, and food. One star. I wonder why. Something changed after March in 2018. Julianne Nash. I heard from a friend that the service had improved. I was reluctant but agreed to try it. Let me just say, this has just become my number one pizza delivery service. It was the best. I really enjoyed every bite. I loved it. Five stars. Here we see that for some reason after March in 2018, the sauce really improved. Ronnie Ray, April 2nd, 2018. Wow, my feelings for this can't be described in words. I loved every moment of eating this. This tops any pizza I've had before. The cheese was a bit bland, but the sauce makes up for it in all the ways it's Probably the most flavorful sauce I've eaten. Four stars. Emily Park, June 15th, 2018. Wow, never thought I'd enjoy eating a pizza as much as I did. I've been sort of depressed recently because of stuff that happened a few months ago. I went into this sad but came out really happy. The sauce was definitely the best part. Really brings out the flavor. I wonder how they make this stuff. Would love to try and recreate it at home. Five stars. Now let's see what happened. All oh, right. Just at the end of February, Gianna Park fell inside a vat of tomato sauce and died. So the reason why the sauce is so good is because uh, it was made with human remains. That is dark. Anyway, that was SCP-6227. If you liked this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!